I'm fucking back. Did you guys miss me? Because I hella missed you guys and I haven't filmed for like three weeks, literally like a month. So I'm just happy to be back. I've been going through a lot lately. Obviously being pregnant, all I want to do is sleep and rest and you know, eat. Pretty much. So today I filmed this aqua smoky eye. I really love it. I did go ahead and add some faux freckles. Didn't do this until like the very like the very last part of the video. Just because I know that not everybody wants to like sit there and watch this because not everybody's into the faux freckles. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. And if you want to see how to create this look, then just keep on watching. So I went ahead and put some concealer on my eyelids to prime. And I'm just going to be setting that with some white eyeshadow. And I just pat this eyeshadow over that concealer and really pack it on there to make sure that I don't have any creasing later throughout the day. Look, I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe 35C palette. Holy fuck, I dropped an eyeshadow. This always happens to me. Like I was saying, to start off this look, I'm going to be taking this aqua shade from the Morphe 35C palette. I'm going to be using this as a like transition color I guess and I'm just taking this on a big fluffy brush I'm gonna be taking that same color and just packing it on into the crease okay so now I'm gonna be taking this deep navy blue right here this is in the 35B palette I'm slowly going to be packing this blue on my eyelid and blending it upwards so it doesn't look too harsh when it touches the aqua color. If you press super hard while you're doing this, it's not going to allow you to blend out the colors like seamlessly. So you got to be super light handed when you do this part. Now to deepen up this look even more, I'm going to be adding some black super close to my lash line. And I'm kind of just going to like smoke it upward. So now we're moving on to concealer. I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal, um, the yellow corrector. Um, somebody asked me on Twitter what my favorite concealers are. I, I honestly don't buy like high-end concealers just because drugstore concealers work perfect for me definitely the LA girl ones I also really like the NYX HD concealers the Maybelline fit me concealer another concealer that I don't ever really hear anybody speak about is the L'Oreal visible lift blur concealer um, this stuff is so good and it's so full coverage I'm actually gonna use it today um, it comes in a little squeezy tube that's probably something that a lot of people will not like So I'm going to be setting my concealer with my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. So I literally just put it over my concealer and then I like wipe it off like immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and take this turquoise aqua color on my lower lash line and I'm just going to smoke it out. Now over that aqua I'm going to be taking black. And I'm just going to be smearing this like super close to the lower lash line. I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush from earlier. So now we're going to be moving on to eyelashes. And for lashes, I'm taking the Dodo Lashes D309. I know I usually use D301, but I recently started getting into these. Um, these are just a little bit more fuller and dramatic, but I freaking love these. Honestly, I highly recommend. These lashes do such a great job at making my eyes look freaking huge. I do have a discount code with this company. It's just Jocelyn X Sanchez. I will have all my discount codes in the description box down below in case you guys are interested in saving some money on your order. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my inner corner with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the color Glitterati. Um, and I'm just placing that with my finger. Um, these ColourPop metallic shadows work best when you use your finger. Okay, I'm also going to be using this to highlight my brow bone. Um, I'm going to be highlighting my face 
I'm taking the Mary Luminizer and I'm also taking Opal by Becca. I can't use this one on its own. Um, it seems to be a little bit too dark for me. I love using a mix together, but I can never get away with using um, Opal on its own. So this is uh, Mary Luminizer. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of Opal over top of that. I'm gonna be hitting my little two head just to add a little bit of something, you know, to the forehead. Um, I never bronze my forehead because I already have a really small forehead. So now I'm gonna be bronzing my skin. As always, I'm taking my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. If you haven't bought this bronzer, you are missing out. Like, you really need this bronzer in your life. It's not orangey at all. Like, it's not orangey or too red. I really, really like it. For blush today, I'm taking Luminoso by Milani. I know you guys are probably surprised that I'm not using the berry one that I always use. Um, I wanted to give that blush a little break, especially because like I almost pan on it already. And it's my favorite blush. Moving on to the lips, I'm gonna be lining them with the NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner. Now for the actual lipstick, I am taking Point Zero by ColourPop. This is an ultra satin lip. Honestly, probably my favorite formula of them all. So this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I did want to go ahead and add some faux freckles. Um, a lot of you have been requesting for me to do a video showing you guys how I do this. I think that I included this in one of my past tutorials. I think it was like a fall makeup tutorial. I, I'm not really sure, but I will go ahead and show you guys really quick on here. I'm thinking of filming like a video showing you guys how I contour my nose and how I do like the whole faux freckle and everything. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make like an in-depth video on that. But for right now, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I use to achieve the faux freckles. What I do is I use a like concealer palette. So this one is by BH Cosmetics. Um, it's super beat up because I've had this for like two years. I go ahead and I focus on the two darkest colors and I take my brush that I use to do my eyebrows with and I literally just start randomly dotting the little freckles. Um, I like to go in with the lighter color first, just to kind of place them where I want them. And then I go in with the darker concealer, and I really just randomly dot dark ones in between the light ones. So these are the freckles. I don't know if you can tell, I will zoom you guys in so you guys can go ahead and see those. I really love the look of the freckles, um, especially with makeup. Um, I do these a lot when I'm not wearing makeup, but I also really love the effect that they give when my makeup is done. I just love the way it looks. So yeah, basically to wrap this video up, this is all for today's makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed my video. I missed you guys all so much. I just wanna say welcome to all my new subscribers. I've gained about 700 subscribers since the last time that I posted a video, which is crazy to me. I mean, I know there's other people who grow like super fast and like their channel grows super quickly, but I'm like so thankful for you 700 people who subscribe to my channel. I'm just very grateful for you guys. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. If you're subscribed to me, turn my notifications on so you guys can get notified of when I upload. Otherwise, I don't think it'll come up unless you search for it. I'm not sure. Turn my notifications on if you're a real one. And yeah, love you guys. Bye.